Hey, welcome back to the shop, everyone. Um, the world has fallen on dark days due to the beer bug, and uh, yeah, things are looking looking grim. There's hope, lots of hope, but uh, there's we're in a tight spot. So you recognize this maybe from my previous video. Uh, it's a uh, per PAPR personal air powered respirator. It uses a CPAP, uh, Arduino, some batteries, um, to and then these uh, what would typically go into like a gas mask on the side uh, go in here. And uh, I've been using it in my shop, woodworking shop. Um, some people have expressed interest in making this um, to help people uh, during this uh, pandemic which I think is spectacular. I'm all for it. Um, I just don't think this is ideal. Um, it's too complicated. It takes too long to print. Uh, if, if it was a one-off and you had all of this equipment, like the, the motor, the Arduino, the batteries, and the charger for the batteries, and then there's the life cycle, right? Because this will maybe will blow for a couple hours. Uh, maybe you need it for longer, and then what? Uh, so I've scrapped this idea completely. What I came up with was this. So this is your typical snorkeling mask. I removed the valve assembly up top here. It has a cross section that looks roughly like this. This is where the breathing air goes uh, in. So I, I made this uh, adapter here. I have these filter cartridges left over from my other experiment. And it has a if you can, I don't know if you can see that, but essentially it has these tabs uh, 180 degrees rotated apart, so these slide in like so, and then the whole assembly slides over like that. And then uh, a little bit of silicone here just to make sure. Now if these were N95 or N99, uh, then I would, I'm sur sure they would provide a lot of protection. Um, the check valve would still work here, so air, when you breathe, air will come out of here. Uh, when you breathe in, this there's a little uh, disc in here that closes, and air is drawn through here, down, and into uh, this rough face mask area. So, as a cheap way of doing it, I mean, these cartridges are pretty cheap, and heck, you may have one of these lying around, uh, potentially. Uh, so I'll put this on Thingiverse, but will that work for everyone who has one of these? Probably not. I'd, I'd have a hard time believing that ooh, the manufacturer manufacturers of these masks would have kept the same cross-section throughout the years. You might get lucky in that this is the, the model I have. Uh, they may have kept it. Who knows? may have been cheaper to keep reusing the molds for these instead of updating them. But, what I'd like to do is just show you roughly what this is, the idea, the concept behind it, and then you can work uh, with a local modeler or 3D printer to make this based on the availability of this and this potentially in your area. So essentially what I did was I took uh, a picture of this just like this, as direct as centered as I could be with the camera picture. Then I took a pair of calipers and measured from here to here with them, um, got that measurement, and then I imported this into my CAD program into the 2D sketch area, uh, drew a line from here to here, got the distance that it imported as, and then just did math, right? So if this needed to be one and a half inches, and it was one inch, you would do the one and a half divided by one inch, and that's your scale factor. And then you would scale up your picture to be that scale, double check it's correct. Then you just kind of go around with arcs, lines, and splines, zoom in, you know, and draw it out, and that's that. And then you offset for the thickness that you want, extrude, and there you go. Now you have it. It's as easy as that. So yeah, I'll upload a couple variants of this, one where it'll be just this cross section uh, and none of this one where it'll be this plus a couple different sizes of this um, and it'll just be a solid piece and this will be hollow up to this point 
Uh, reason being is you may have a threaded version, you may have something that requires a, a different type of mechanism to lock it in place, uh, and it'll let you modify the step file uh, the, to incorporate whatever threads you may have. Uh, and I think that's the best I can do at the moment. Hopefully this helps uh, people out there. Uh, don't be hoarding. Use your head and uh, be good to those around you, alright? I'll see you on the other side of this thing. Alright, thanks for watching.